Well, we're uh, we're fishing. Well, we ain't fishing. I've got my. Uh, I can't believe I'm there in the dark, but this is bright. I don't think it's too bad. But yeah. What do you mean? But yeah. Yeah, I'm fishing on the River Umber. We're at a different mark. I've fished it before. You can go back in my uh, video um, library of uh, Vernsea fishing and find this mark summertime. This is today, the 31st of December, and it's uh, quarter past seven in the morning. So it'll be getting light shortly. <clears throat> in the next hour, it'll be light. So, uh, and we're pulling out towards spring, aren't we? Because we're actually in winter now according to the solstice calendar yeah the astronomical calendar should i say so uh for me it's winter it was winter since the 21st 22nd december so we're on for the cod now but i don't think we'll catch cod here we'll cut for intro and uh i'll bring you back in a second intro Right, so we're here, we're fishing on the Humber. We're at what I class as my um, fishing at the Humber Bridge. Humber Bridge is to my right. As soon as it's daylight, I'll show you. But if you see me other videos, you will know. Today, I am fishing with the Penn Spin Fisher Live Liner 6500, coupled up with the Shakespeare Black Extreme it is. Um, it's their last ever rod that they built, big rod for big boys, before Pure Fishing decided to um, relegate them to the lesser rods. By the lesser rods, I mean the starter rods. And uh, Penn then decided that they were going to push them as the big rods. That's what I was told many years ago probably about two and a half, three years ago when they started bringing all these pen tidal things out and stuff, but there you go. So I've got these, I've got them because they're 4.8 meters long and out there that'll enable me to stick it out further and hopefully I won't get snagged. Now, I won't be able to show you when, oh you bastard, see that there? See that bloody thing there? In the last two videos, in the last time I was fishing here, summertime, you'd see that I bloody used to trip over that. Well, I must have tripped over it five times now. Right, let me turn this on. A lot of silt there. Don't think you'll be able to see it. Let me get this other light. Let's not trip over that again. Yeah, I don't think you can see it. There's a lot of silt down there now. If you remember, if you go back to the old videos, there's a concrete path. After this rampart slope here, there's a concrete path with mud on it, and there's mud. And the mud has gone up onto the path. So now, really, there's nothing for me to get snagged up on because there used to be like a foot and a half, two foot drop there for that path, and it's now all silted up. So now you can just reel it straight in. But you've got to wait for the tide to come in sooner. You'd been able to fish by now and cast out, um, but you'd just have to watch that slope. But I was younger back then, and I used to go down this slope here and fish on down the bottom and move my way up. But those days are gone at the minute until I get a new whip. And it's full of green rubbish as well. And uh, I'd just like to say that uh, I'm sorry for swearing so early in the video. Now, I'm not on my own. I decided to let someone know I was going fishing probably about half past 11 at night. Well, no, probably about half past 10. No, probably about half 8 o'clock, really. But he didn't answer me for like two or three hours because obviously he was busy. And, uh, yeah, he's here now, aren't you, aren't you, Keith? I'm here, I'm here. I'm here in spirit anyway. I like, to, <laughs> I like to give people plenty of notice of when I'm going fishing. <laughs> yeah, like... Yeah. Uh, couple of hours yeah yeah that's right <laughs> and uh yeah Keith's there and he's fishing with uh well what's he fishing with what are these the hell right oh i've never heard of that brand what brand is that fantastic brand mate what fantastic brand is brand. that how do you pronounce that akios akios oh right are they good rods then 
I like them. Not not saying that I've never heard about them, but are they good rods? Oh, definitely. Are they? Definitely. Oh, right, that's all right. So we've got here Akios Hellraisers, and the best place to go get them is from Case to Tackle. That's right, Case to Tackle. And you get a good deal. And you get a good deal. You heard it from the horse's mouth, didn't you? Oh, yeah. See? Go nay. Yeah. Case to Tackle, go see Mike. Yeah, that's it. Go see Mike. Case to Tackle. <clears throat> Not sponsored by me, just a good chap. Do you know what I mean? Not that we're sponsored for anyone, really, are we, Keith? Apart oh, from <laughs> apart from our wives, hey, that's the main thing, isn't it? Getting... No, I sponsor our lass. Yeah. <laughs> now then, now then, we don't be talking about anything filthy. I get a sandwich occasionally. That's about it. Right. So anyhow, I shan't be yapping too much because the last video was like two and a half bloody hours. What was all that about? I must have, well, I only caught two fish at the beginning, so the rest of the time was me just yapping, weren't it? But, you know, it's what it is, isn't it? Got to stop saying that. It's a bit like the other word I kept saying. Right, I've got two up flappers on. I've got two rods on them uh, Shakespeare. I think some people can call them K2s. They used to build a rod called K1 or something, and then they brought that over. It's got new K2 writ on it. Um... And I got them cheap as well. I bought them from Pondistra. I think... I think they were like... Well, they were just over 100 quid. And uh, they should have been a lot more. There's a review in Sea Angler if you ever want to research it. You can't buy them rods anymore. You might be able to pick them up second hand. But they actually come with a spare tip. So they come with a tip. They come with a tip of a rod like that. Look. Right thin. Look at that. Now, when you cast, you can feel that, a bit annoying, but it's good for showing up boats if you're fishing in an estuary, and that's why I've kept these rods. So these will be the only Continental, apart from my Vaselli's, that I'll probably end up keeping. Um, so yeah, you get that tip in it, and you also get the hollow carbon tip, which is the power tip. And uh, in Sea Angler Adventures, not Sea Angler Adventures, wash my mouth out, Sea Angler, magazine they um took that rod to scotland to catch common skate well that's not something i'd want to do because that feels like too much hard work all that reeling in for three quarters of an hour you'd have to have a relay team wouldn't you and now i'm going to stop waffling now because um i could be waffling for the next 30 minutes and then uh, it'll be 40 minutes fishing uh 40 minutes yapman and 10 minutes fishing so uh, I'm gonna shut up now and as soon as it's daylight I'll bring you back or as soon as you can see my dulcet well you can hear me dulcet tones but as soon as you can see these chiseled looks I might just bring you back let the ladies have a look do you know what I mean you know what I'm saying so uh, yeah I'm here fishing with Keith and my wife is still snoring in bed <laughs> yeah I think I'd I'm quite happy to be here it's all right once you get here, but I hate getting up in the morning. I had to get up. I set my alarm at half four, got up at five. Um, and yeah, get here for... <sighs> set your alarm for half four and go up at five? Yeah, I've got, I got to snooze it before I... Uh, <laughs> I can't just wake up and get up. My alarm... Well, I had my me, me, uh, radio alarm going off, playing music. I thought, what on earth is that? It took me ages to wake up. And then I had my phone alarm going off every 10 minutes. Keep snoozing it. No. Uh, wife don't wake up. She's used to it by now. So, but yeah, we're here. Hummer Bridge is to my right. I'll show you it later. Well, matter of fact, if I just go like this, you might actually see the red bits up in the sky. Yeah, and that is the Humber Bridge. Yeah, I like to chat for at least an hour before we fish. I'm not going to today, but I, you know, I like to have a good chat, and then we start fishing. I'm not one of these that like to show you getting to the mark for 10 minutes, and then tie a rig for another 10 minutes, and then there's 10 minutes of blanking. Do you know what I mean? Or fit catching, whatever. I like to do it the other way around. Plenty of yapping and lots of fishing.
I'm looking forward to this sun coming up. I don't like this uh, dark in the morning. And I'm going to sit in this van a lot. And the reason why we're here, because I'm not expecting to catch any cod. It'd be nice to catch a codlin. Oh, it'd be nice to catch a codlin. But I'm here because I'm out of the back of my van. I'm somewhere different. There's no one about as of yet, but the dog walkers will come shortly. And uh, it's easy, isn't it? You know, I haven't had to get here six hours before low water to get a mark, like at Immingham or Halton. And uh, I haven't had to walk to me uh, fishing venue, so dragging my gear. So I don't mind doing that, but I just wanted a different thing today. I wanted to do a different place. And uh, yeah, I should be somewhere else, cause, but I aren't. But might be there another day, you never know. Different rods, same reels, same rigs, uh, flappers today, small looks, big looks. We'll see what's about. I'm gonna, might even, just to get Andrew excited, I might get a pulley panel out. Now I can hear him reaching for a can of John Smith's now because I've said that, because he'll be thinking, Jesus Christ, he's getting a pulley rig out. Um, but yeah, I might just do that and do some cocktail baits and chuck one out because you never know what's out there, do you? I might catch a Greta Thunderbird trying to gather up the bits of plastic in the river that's spilt into it. You never know. But I'll see you in a bit when it gets a bit lighter because I'm waffling on now. And uh, see you in a bit. Oh! Ah. We're going to have a chuck out. Let me clean that. Because it's really professional doing it after I've switched it on, isn't it? That's what you get with me. Nothing but fresh professionalism. So we've just got uh, two at Flapper here, and uh, it's easy chuck outs and easy fishing today. That might be the title, easy chuck outs and eating out nah, won't be the title. I've got a proper rod, mate, you see. Yeah, but I want to go far. You <laughs> are? I don't want to go far to be coming to feed off this one. <laughs> uh, so it feels I've got a challenge with such a distance caster as you, Keith. And uh, yeah, fishing go. champion as well, because there's no fish that you can't catch, is there? I feel as I've got my... Let's watch this thing I'm tripping over all the time. I can't bloody see now. I'm going to sit down there because of my... Ear. Ooh! Right, that's the first one out. That went a bit too far, actually. Now, now these rods here are 4.8 metre long, I think. And uh, they're great for off the ground casting. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, we ain't doing that today in this car park because It'll fill up with cars shortly, and I've got to walk all the way down there anyhow. So if the weight comes off, it'll hit my van, it'll hit Keith's van, it'll take Keith's head off. You know, it's dangerous. You've got to do things carefully. So I think I've got a load of weed on that other reel. Um, I'm glad it wasn't that one because I didn't check, and the eyes on that rod are a bit too tiny for my liking. So, uh, I'm going to have a bit of hassle reeling in. I nearly brought my Ziplex and my uh, Vaselli's and I thought, ah, sod it, new, different mark, different rods. So, let's pray there ain't no weed like there was the, where I've, uh, every time I go. Because it's too much, it's too much. It'll be hard work and hassle. And I nearly put my Ziplex in the van this morning. And I thought, nah, sod it, I've got the rods I'm using. It's 
quite peaceful with the old water lapping on the mud and the birds twittering. It's getting light now. Keith's got one rod out. Keith's in close, so if he catches a fish and I don't, next cast will be in close. Anyhow, that's it. I'm turning the camera off. I'm going to think... Well, I'm going to check that reel out, actually, and see what I've got on the line, because if I cast that out with the weed that's on it, it's not like my Vaselli's, where it'll just go through and go clonk, 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 and you get away with it. It's a case of it'll go... Ch -ch -ch and snap off. Yeah, dicky birds. So, yeah, I've got my thermals on. My reed thermals. And I've got a hoodie on. And I've got this... Uh, Heated jacket on. Now I know it looks like a tank top and I might look a bit how's your father. But I can assure you it's lovely and warm. I've just turned it down from red to green or did I turn it up? Are they geese? Sounds like geese, yeah, they are flying towards us look. Yeah. Now do geese come here? Yeah, I know they go to the lakes, but do ge geese come from colder countries to come here? Because you see geese in summertime, don't you? So what, what is the migration of geese? If anyone's out there can tell us. Because I see them coming in wintertime and I see them going in bloody autumn. So is it just a case of geese don't know what they're doing? Because where the heck do they go and why? I now know about starlings, a murmuration of starlings. Thank you very much. I didn't know it was called a murmuration. I've seen them since I was a boy. Flapping around in the sky, doing all their little dance. But yeah, apparently they come from uh, Nordic countries to here. But obviously they come from there to here because it's probably a little bit warmer, but not too warm. And at the minute, they're all in my edge on my garden because all you can hear is them doing their twittery noises. So uh, I've got loads of starlings in my edge. That's why I ain't cut it yet. Should cut it. It's starting to overpower itself, really. Anyhow, that's enough of that. Hope you've all had a good Christmas. Uh, by the time you see this, New Year will have been gone and you'll be in New Year. Hope it's prosperous for you. Hope you had a good time on New Year's night. If you want to get sloshed, get sloshed. Today is the 31st of December. That means it's the last day of the year. So I'm actually fishing on the last day of the year and I was going to fish tomorrow on New Year's Day. Don't know whether I am yet or not. It all depends what I feel like. Because uh, if I'm stiff as arseholes, then I ain't going out tomorrow, I'll tell you. I just guessed there'd be nobody fishing here, and I was spot on right. Is that wind, Keith? No, I've got a bite. What? I've got a bite. You've got a bite? What, on the old L razor? Yeah. Go oh, hey. Is that in short? What, is that a 20 yard chuck? About 30 yards. 30? Was that, did you put your shoulder into that? No. No. Somewhere. Oh, where? What? You'll be at Essel? Probably. <coughs> Can you hear him, Alfie? That he talks some on shit, that. doesn't he, eh? That is wind on the... Uh... You got what? Do you look at the second wind? You got a bit of wind? Oh, I've got plenty of that. Oh, have you? Right, I'm gone. I don't know if you can see that better now. Yeah, you can, look. That's good. A little bit of light and then look. So water's coming in. We've got a bit of mud in front of us. We're casting out. There's a hunk of concrete down there and I'm talking a bloody hunk and it's come out of the seed defence. So they ain't done a good job there. The tide's got in there and pulled that out. That's how strong it is. And that's why... That's why you need an SKM 6 ounce to 7 ounce, 8 ounce weight on this river. And the best place to get SKM weight is from Case to Tackle. Go ring Mike up. He'll have a chat with you if he's got time and uh, place your order with him. Buy loads. Buy a great big box full of them. But SKMs, love them. Good for this umber anyhow. Good for anywhere. Look at that down there. Look, You can see all that, can't you? And then you got down there. If you just look past Key for a minute because it ain't a pretty sight. You see that? see the bridge now and you can walk all the way along here this is the river wall that follows it all the way you can walk from here all the way to the Humber Bridge where the Vuin site is where you can fish there as well really but you have to pay in the car park there whereas this car park's free but you can get a few dogs walkers and 
late at night you can get more dogging walkers sort of thing if you know what i mean not a good thing it isn't. Like it's on the... quite intimidating i'll tell you so it's best to fish air at night with a mate yeah or come early hours of the morning when you should be all right i thought there'd be a dog walker here but no and you left your dog at home haven't you <laughs> yeah i brought my little jack russell with me yeah. today. why didn't you bring him uh, bring her. <laughs> no. Oh, is it a she? It's a little she, yeah. Why don't you bring her? Nah. I'll ask one, one day at the end of it, she think I'd let it get drowned. <laughs> All right. Would she hang around your feet or does she run off? She can run off. All right. I'm going to take her out a few times when we like when I go like that. What, what, your wife? <laughs> My dog. Oh, right. You should treat Julie a lot better than what you do, mate. You should buy her a frock occasionally or a pair of slacks. Yeah, <laughs> take her out for a pint occasionally. I'll take her out for a pint regularly. Is that because you want one? Basically. Oh, right. <laughs> right, well, i am bring you back in a bit. There's enough waffle there. The birds are in the water, so uh, they're obviously having a bit of fun. You won't see me in the water because it'll be a bit cold. And I'll get electrocuted by my coop. See you in a bit. You got a what? That's a definite bite. Right? That's a definite bite. Yeah. Keeps on a definite bite. More geese. Great big line of them. They must run out of things to talk about them geese by the time they get where they're going, don't they? They don't shut up, do they? Uh, I saw you last night on uh, Ethel. What do you mean you saw me on Ethel? Well, you're meant to be with Mildred and I saw you on Ethel. You can just imagine what them goose talk, geese talk about, can't you? Hey? He's not talking to me now. This is what it's like fishing with Keith. <laughs> right, yeah. I just... Have you got a bite on it or not? I don't know, I'll bring it in for a look. We'll make sure you're real. He got out. No. That's it, he snagged up. <sighs> he got it. Yeah. You what? What are you caught in? How could you get caught in that bit? <laughs> Fast. What? Where, where the water's been ripped through, took that concrete out of it. Yeah. You know what you want to do, don't you? Next what? time you reel in. And not that I'm teaching you to suck eggs. Yeah, you need to walk down here, don't you, and reel it up so you get on this concrete air, and then you can just flick it onto the rocks, can't you? Well, yeah. Do you know what I mean? She'll, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what we'll do. The bloke with the f fucked tip, he'll go and save the day, shall he? Rather than the bloody paratrooper. Let's try and go over the fucking wall. So I won't go down there as soon as I snap it first, mate. What do you mean? That makes it all right, doesn't it? Well, I was going You're to telling it. me to go steady. Yeah. You're meant to be doing this sort of stuff for me. What have you got on there? Don't pull it. You'll pull it in the head. Mate, you haven't even got your grip wires on. There were. What have you got a five ounce on it for? <laughs> right. Got it? Yeah. Right. You want a six ounce on that minimum. Put the wires out. It's all right, Keith. You know. I just need a new hip. I'll go down. <laughs> I'll go down. I don't walk further down there. I'll go down for you. And I got a wet ass because I sat on the bloody wet wall. Now don't yank me over because that's what I got to get my leg over. I know, you get over at a rigging if so, you tell me. I don't get my leg over at all, I'm 55. <laughs> Them fucking days are over. Hang on, hang on. Oh. 
You got it? Yeah. See? Oh, yeah. You roll backwards. <laughs> Right, well that was a bit of fun, wasn't it? I saved his rig, he was gonna pull up for a break, lose the five ounce weight. If he'd done that, I'd have been over that wall and stuck it in my box, I'll tell you. Free game, that is. He got a six ounce. I have, mate, I've got, well, five ounces seem to be holding bottom at the moment. Well, that went to the right. Yeah. Oh, it's a nice day. I said it weren't gonna rain. Do you know what? He's just chucked it straight back out. Yeah, the right. <laughs> yeah, but that way, did you stretch your wires out? I straightened them out. They were virtually straight. Yeah, there's four geese there, look. Four ducks. Oh, I had a duck for Christmas dinner. Oh, it's lovely. Wife can't dry that out, I'll tell you. It's lovely and succulent. And then two days later, I went to have uh, the drumsticks of the duck in a sandwich and she'd thrown them out. Can't believe it. Normally stuff is in our fridge for two months. But no, the legs, they were gone within two days. They are a bit slimy. I said, where's the duck? The ducks are greasy, aren't they? I was gutted, absolutely gutted. I had to have a cheese sandwich that night. We had a goose. Wife didn't want to cook on that night, I'll tell you. Right, I need to get some black lug out to defrost. I've got squid on the flapper rig again. Let's get that chucked out. I've got you on, haven't I? Let's get that chucked out. I've got a glove. We'll chuck it out to the left because Keith's, Keith's blocked me in on the Humber. So not only has he got better bait than me, yeah, he's actually chucking it in and blocking me in so I haven't got nowhere to fish. You can't believe it, can you? It's supposed to be a, <laughs> supposed to be a bloody mate, isn't he? Yeah. I don't know, you there. What? <laughs> and, and, and I've got to look after him. You know, I'm the cripple and I've got to look after him and get his gear. I'd have gone down myself like Ah, oh, you weren't going down there in the month of Sundays. Tell you what, you see what power the water Sounds like bloody rain, doesn't it? Yeah, that's what I mean. The clouds are coming, have a look. Well, it ain't meant to rain. Well, like I said, never believe the weather forecast. Well, it ain't gonna rain. It's going to be sunny at nine o'clock. Yeah. There's going to be a load of naked bathers swimming past here at Do you know what I just did? I didn't check the reel when I casted that out. So I've done it again. And luckily, I got away with it. Got away with it. Well, that's both rods out. Two flapper rigs on each rod. And I'm casting straight out and it's going straight to the right. The tide is coming in, so it must be barreling down the center of the river and coming back around. Um, yeah, that's annoying. I should have cast it further up. I'm gonna have to put my coat on because it started to spit. So uh, I'm gonna take this uh, tank top off and uh, sand it off. And uh, yeah, it's annoying that is. I thought about casting out to the left and I casted straight out and it's gone further than I wanted it to. And it's now whipping round to the right and the tide's coming in. I think high tide's about 9.45 or 8.45. I can't remember, I'll have a look in a bit. But I'll see you in a bit. Look at that, eh? Yeah, that's Keith, that is. I expect I'll go over the wall probably six more times with him. <laughs> Still learning to fish. Just a short session today. Am I over you or under you? I don't know you. Yeah. 
Yeah, you need to reel that in, mate. Is that great? Yeah. Because yeah. I make quite far. You're not over me, are you? Yeah, you are. Yeah. Rip, lift it up. Well, then you're up. Lift it up. And I can reel in. That's it. Pull in. Good to right your car, Keith, in there. Because that's swinging right round, isn't it? That's coming in in front of you, isn't it? Nothing on that. And that's the problem. Get up there. Small eyes mean bloody weed. You know, if I have small eyes, I wouldn't have any weed, would I? thing about it is, it's only a little bit. There's another bit there, look. Nothing more calmer than a barking dog, is it? Keep on bloody step. I need to put a summer on it. These walkers have probably walked from the Humber Bridge, mate. Yeah. Chucked out. We're going to go this time. We're going to go to the left. That's where we're going to go. Now, I don't know how long this video is going to be. We 
we've probably got we've got plenty of time we've got um uh, we're uh probably got another two and a half hours fishing here Yeah, about 60 yards. Brilliant. So that drag, that's there. That's there. The other one should be alright. First baits were still on. First baits were still on. Even though it's uh, been out a while. It was squid. So um, I would say the bait second rod out will still be all right so we'll leave it out for a little bit i've got worms squid um i've got prawns i might use some of them actually but um yeah can i get you there yeah see your rod tips must be able to so Sit down at the flask of coffee in the flask. Because you wouldn't put a flask of coffee in the not in the flask if you had a flask of coffee, would you? What a stupid thing that is. But yeah. I've got a, a thermos flask in blue, midnight blue it is. But you can buy the red ones are a lot cheaper. Where are you going, my mate? I'm out to the left. You ought to go to the right of your car. Where? Well, my line is over there. Yeah, well, my line is there. What? That way. That's loose. Pardon? Your line's loose. Again? Yeah. If you can, if you oh, go, to, line over go to the right of your box, mate, honest to God, and chuck out as far as you can. Because you're not going that way either. I'm, I'm to the left. Yeah. Yeah, if you cast straight out there, then you're going to go over my line. We're going to get tangled again. It's not going in that way, though. What? Yeah. What do you mean? No. Go to the right of your box and give out one of your Keith Cod wellies. Yeah? That's it. Launch it out, mate. Now, don't hit the other bank. It's gone quiet again. Now, I bought some Shimano um, Airlex 8000 reels to fish this mark um, ages ago and uh, I've turned up with my pen spin fishers so uh, all's good there. <laughs> if you're the right of that thing there you'll never go in that hole again will you? It's like when you reel that left hand one in. If you walk to the right of that hole then I will have to go over the wall again will I? Because then you'd be thinking of me wouldn't you? Do you know this little chap from Norfolk with uh, with dodgy legs? Yeah, that's because I never had any fruit when I was young, you see. So I got I got this this bugger dip, you see. The thing is, Keith, I was putting my socks on this morning, and I felt felt some uh, I felt my right hip, and you don't ever feel your hips, do you? Not really. So I think my right hips. I reckon by next year I'll be putting Volterol on my right hip. Replacement there. Hopefully, when they do my left one. Bite. Where? Like Where? Did you see it went? No, I didn't see it. Oh. Mate, I might just be playing with it. I've never seen you move so fast. The rod moves that quick. Where'd you get them boots from? Yeah, that's a bite. Stop talking to me again.
Well, is it a bite or in it? And then you'd have to go back to my other videos, but I don't know if I've ever caught it. So, um, if we catch today, then I'll definitely catch here, wouldn't I? Because obviously I've caught today. So, uh, fingers crossed. What? That's a bite, is it? What you don't go over your other line? Keith, Keith you need to come back. Should have gone under the rod. Yeah, Keith's got a flounder. Well, at least I'm not wattle-licked. No. I've said it a bite. Go on then, show it to camera. Look. Now look pleased with yourself. Nice little baby. Yeah, they, they are Julie. He can catch fish. He don't lie all the time. <laughs> Just that he blanked last time, didn't he? <sighs> well, I think I better chuck one out 10 yards and I might catch some. Yeah, there's nothing on mine. Both of mine are chucked out. Um, so what I'm going to do is, the next rod that I reel in, um, the next one I reel in, I'm going to uh, chuck it out short. A little bit of wind. What's the matter? Right down. Oh, what gives it here? Right, so... We've got another flapper rig here, and uh, got a prawn shrimp there, which is one of Scott's shrimps. And that's all it is, just a tiny little bit, and we'll uh, elasticate this on a tiny bit at the end with uh, John Spolton's elastic that he gave me. So that's one. All we've got today is frozen bait. So, uh, you still hear them dogs. They were probably barking this morning because it was dinner time. Breakfast time, sorry. These shrimps have seen better days, but you never know, do you? Right, that's it. Two shrimps on a flapper rig, seven inch weight. There you go. Crappy looking ones, but there, that's all I've got. That's all it's gonna be. Keith has caught a flounder. It was deep booked, so we had to uh, cut it off we couldn't get it out not even I could get it out the hook had turned the wrong way to come out of either gill so pulled the line out through the gill and uh, cut the line off and then pushed the hook back so it wasn't at an angle so uh, fish went in the water and swam off so I don't know how long it takes for hooks to rust out but there was no other option I'm afraid Trying to remove that would have, uh, yeah, wouldn't have done the fish much good. So hopefully it'll rot out and be okay and everything else. So Keith's sorting his rigs out. He's got green bling on all them rigs there, as you can see. <laughs> proper, proper bait. Yeah, yeah. Makes it even harder to get out of the fish's gill. But Keith's catching on this blingy rigs, you see. And uh, I ain't. But it'll happen, there comes the first car. First dog walker, probably.
I'm literally casting that rig out short. I ain't going to cast it out far. So uh, I shall see you in a bit when I cast that out, which will be probably five minutes. I'm going to have a sit down and uh, see you in a minute. Here we are. This is the River Humber <clears throat> on a glorious day. Um, that's not a boat out there. I think that's a, a boy, some sort of marker for the ships, for the c channels. Yeah, that's it. Deep water channel marker. And uh, them rods ain't moving much, but hopefully they will. See you in a bit. It's peaceful there. Eh? Air in that water just lapping against the side. My rod's static and yours bouncing around all over. You don't have to hem me in though, do you? You could cast the right a bit, couldn't you? Just so I don't get hemmed in. <laughs> Who chose spot? What? Who chose a spot? Well, it don't matter. <laughs> I could have a fish on mine, couldn't I? You could have, mate. I might cut a little bit of squid just to put on that hook, just to tip it. I'm doing match fishing baits now. So we've still got prawn on there, shrimp on there. This is whole shrimp. It's from Scott. I ain't got any more after this is gone. Little tiny, look at that, it's like a match bait, isn't it? It's just like match fishermen, that is. Right, I might reel this in actually because we're at high water and uh, there's only so many hours in the tide. Once them hours are gone, that's it. We have to go on. It's only a short session today. I don't know if I've mentioned that. Lovely bluey grey skies there. Here come another car. Another dog walker. Oh, we've got some air. Might have some air. Because I just felt it whack, but it could have been the wake and the mud and going out of the mud. It's gone light now. I don't think we've got a fish on. No, that was the weight. And there's the bloody. Oh, it's gone through. It's like your leader. Yeah. Let's get that on there. nothing on it so basically what happened there was was I pulled it out and it would have been going along and just got hooked in the mud again so I can hang this right out lift up and not get snagged up and pulling it up So let's get this. Uh, where's that bloody thing? Of course, well, I still think it's a bit dark. Right, so we end up this. Just put it 
there, get that one. Now this is just going to be a short chuck out, this one. That's what it's going to be. I'm going to cast over Keith's lines because he's wedged me in so I can't catch any fish. Because you can hear him laughing now, he's going to laugh all day and all day tomorrow if I don't catch. And it's all because he's cheated. I'm casting out to the great distances that keeps casting. More line went out than distance. But yeah, now, so that's it. That's got fish writ all over it, that cast. That is going to be the fishy cast. Isn't it, Keith? That's the... That's a, that's a, hey, you can go off people, can't you? Right, I might get my hand warmers out because my fingers are getting a bit chilly because uh, I've got girly hands, do you know what I mean? Now then, that rod is tapping already because I've probably just cast it into a shoal of flatfish. But it's probably the bloody wind. Line's slack and all, so let's get that tightened up. I absolutely love them live liners because I just wound that up and as soon as I wound the slack up you just with your thumb tip it back one click because there's four settings on that and uh, set you go away you ain't got to undo your drag and then pull it out oh, a bit more a little less so I've got killer bait on there now and uh, hopefully I think it's the wind. Yeah. So yeah, I just really want to try and cast a bit further right, but I can't because uh, I'll impact on to to my neighbour who's fishing here, and uh, you know I'll just keep fishing in this cemetery. You know, dead man's land. You know, whatever. It's like I'm on a desert island, really. I got a violin out here. Oh, he, he's talking to me now. He's talking to me now. <laughs> Is that you, Keith? No, it's my shadow. Oh, it's a shadow. I just got this violin, I'm playing it for you. Alfie, can you hurry up and get better and start fishing with him so I don't have to? Because, <laughs> God's fucking sake, it's fucking not. Here you got a bite. Don't I'm say you've had 20 bites, because you've had one. <laughs> Here you got fish on. I don't know yet, it's not giving no definite signs. I thought you said them rods were brilliant. I thought you said they they talk to you. They do, look. What? That's a bite. Is that a bite? That's a definite bite. Right, he's got a bite. Now, it. we want answers in the comments. Is it a blanket, a mattress, or is it a bite? You ain't reeling it in, mate. It's not a bite. It's not a bite. It's not a bite. It's not a bite. Yeah, this is what you do when you get a bite. Is it a bite, mate? I'll well, know in a minute when it goes again. Oh. Well, it's nine o'clock, so the wife will still be in bed. That's the beauty of them being frayed. You just put your finger on it, you can feel every time. Oh, well. I thought you was going to say that's the beauty of having a wife. <laughs> And you talk about bloody fishing line. My wife, she'll be lying there in bed, drifting in and out of conscious, consciousness, you know. And she'll uh, wake up and she'll be thinking, right, sh shall I get the eggs ready and do him some boiled eggs when he get them? Or shall I, shall I get a dinner put on and do him a nice curry for when he walks in the house? 
He listening? This is what it's like, Fisherman Keith. You talk to him. Oh, bye. What? Where? Oh, this one, look. He's that, bouncing. That's the bloody wind. You got braid on there? No, not on this one, yeah. All right, you should have braid on, mate. What are you holding it for? You don't walk in your bedroom at night and hold it, do you? <laughs> do you? Do you stand? <laughs> what are you feeling? Wait and see if anything moves. All right. Does it feel stiff? <laughs> Hey, you got one on there? No idea. Hey, Keith, when you reel it in, reel it in as fast as you want, as slow as you want. You do what you want with it. I'm not going to tell you what to do. I'm not that sort of person. <laughs> oh, dear. Next time we go out, let me know so I can bring me, me cooking pans and me some beef burgers. I've got, I got a stove here. Yeah, well, they bring no food, did I? I thought it was oh, a right. five mile hike. Well, I've got the <laughs> stove and the pans. Five mile hike with my hip. <laughs> well, if we're going to your normal haunt, <laughs> it's, it's like a five mile hike. We'll tell you what there and back. Well, it's a stroll. Do you know, I think I'm more roughy tufty than you lot with bad it with the you lot that are physically fit. <laughs> yeah, you, you do well for what you were you, your ailment, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because I am in pain 24 hours a day. It's not just a, oh, it started to hurt. I am with my ankle, but I broke it. I don't understand why you're still working anyhow, because you're retired. I and I can assure you. As soon as I'm at retirement age, I'm doing absolutely diddly fucking squat. <laughs> the wife will say when you do that. Right, let's get that there. Is that swinging in the wind? Oh, I don't know. Anyhow, I'm baiting up again. And we're going to use some more of these shrimp. Um, I'm going to try and use a couple that aren't squidged on. Yeah, these ones look a little bit better than the last ones. We'll get this one up here. We'll put that on. I thread it down from there and come out through its head. Like that. Same with this one. Now Scott got me these, he gave me these. I doubt if I'll get any more. Um, if I see Scott, Scott, I want some more shrimp. If I see you and you got them, I'll buy them off you. Now I may, I may actually put on, yeah, we'll get this baited up, elastic on there. I've got the John Spolton elastic. It's uh, from Boys. He said he was going to get me some more, but I could just go to the shop, couldn't I? Next time I'm in town, I shall try and remember. There, there you have it. So that's two more shrimp. And I might cut a bit of squid. I'll just tip it with squid, because then I'll be like a match fisherman, wouldn't I? Hey? So, we ain't come here, or put it this way, 
Keith come because I messaged him last night at stupid o'clock and it took Keith about another hour to answer me so he must have been falling asleep um, but it's nice to have company on there but it's got no bucket of water that's the problem yeah with some water. Cops are getting manky. Yeah, where am I? Well, we got that baited up. It's a two at flat room. We've got whole shrimp on that tip with a little square of uh, squid. And as of yet, I'm blanking. Keith is uh, using worms, aren't you, Keith? Keith's using worms and uh, he's caught a flounder. Keith's casting about 25, 30 yards. Apart from one of them's a bit further. And uh, he's catching. I've had two that have been out 60, well, about 75. I think I've got a fish on. I think I've got a fish on. But I'm casting around about, or was 75 yards, 70 yards. That cast there was probably about 25, 30. And that's the one that's bouncing. So I have got my hand warmers on the go. These, excellent. Absolutely fantastic. Because once your hands get cold, you can't warm them up by putting them under your armpits, down your groin, or in your pockets, or a set of gloves. You need something to heat them back up. So I advise if you're fishing for winter and you go out at any point, even for one session, get yourself a rechargeable hand warmer from Amazon. Because there's nothing worse than cold hands. And uh, Somerset Beach Fishing Tony, that's a long mouthful, isn't it? But Tony, you've had a cracking cod. £11.5 ounce, I believe it was. It's an absolute beast. I think your channel will do really well now. You've certainly got lots of uh, views. I think it's 20 hours and you've got like 4,500 views or 4.4. You're doing great, that's going to be a good video. Hopefully that'll do your channels a lot of good and move you ahead. Um, you deserve it with all the hours you put in. Well, unless you're working. But yeah, well done on that cod, Tony. That was an uh, absolute perler. I don't think there's so many cod about and coddling, but what is about a good fish? So uh, that seems to be the case at the minute. But as of yet as of yet i haven't had anything that's heavy at all matter of fact i haven't had anything because i'm putting the uh i'm in the cemetery fishing i am because i've got big lad next to me who's blocking me off oh i think i've got a bite i think i've got a bite key wow <laughs> i have yeah in the cemetery mate in the cemetery <laughs> He's all right. He can take it. He's a big, big army lad. Ex special forces. Hey, I've got a bite. I've got a bite, mate. I hope that's a flounder. I just all I want is a flounder. We ain't come here. Well, I ain't come here. Keith's tagged along. Last minute, wasn't it, Keith? That's it, my mate. Yeah, there. last minute. That's me, Oliver. Last minute, Burn. Oh yeah, I've got a bite on that. I've got a fish on that. I'll tell you, I've got a fish on that. I've got a fish on that. Look at this, I've got a huge fish on that. Let's see if I'm in shot. Oh yes. Yes. Right, let's get that in. Oh, we've got a bite on there. We've got a fish on there. There's a nice flounder on it. On the killer bait. Alright, don't feel that heavy. Oh, we got a fish! We got a flounder. No one blanking. No one wanking, blanking. No one blanking. Look at that for a booty. Isn't that lovely?
Right, I'm going to get this unhooked because I've got no water, so I've got to do it quickly, and then I'll bring you back for a show. Well, I'll show you it now. See you in a bit. Well, here we are. We're back, sea fishing, and I kid you not, I kid you not, I'm telling you, I'm quite excited about this. It was lip hooked on a J hook. On a J hook, weren't it, Keith? That's what you used. Yeah, on a J hook, not a circle. These circle fishermen. Look at that, nice flounder, lip hooked. We'll get that back. What's that, about 28, 30 centimetres? Yeah. Really got a is. bit of meat on it. Really <laughs> I've got a rule in there, mate. I'll use my rule, because Mike, give me it. Right, quick measure, 31 centimetre, 31 centimetre, I don't know if you got that, but I did, 31 centimetre, fat as anything, because I think they're coming in to spawn, so let's get that back, oh, right, that's about there, that's it in there, yeah, right, get that, Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. steady. Oh. Oh. Right. What's this? It's slippery. Go on, boy. It's all right. Oh, should I get some water while I'm there? You might as well lose your bucket. Well, you see the grey bucket? In the van. Oh, yeah. Well, pull the grey one out and you'll see my black one. Yeah, I can see the black one. I've got it here. So that's a flounder, that's the blank over with. Let's yeah. get some water. You go steady. Yeah, I'll get it, mate, you know. Paraplegic Vern will get it on the green moss. Because if I fall and rip my coat, I can get it repaired. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I say it is looking at it. Right. Oh, yeah, slippery. Oh. This bit's all right. That's out my back. That is. That's all the twisting and stuff, isn't it? And yeah. Crap. Hey, we've got a bucket of water now. It's always good to have a bucket of water because you can put the fish in it to recover. Let me get out of there. Right. Oh, oh now you're pulling me backwards. I'm not pulling, I've just, I've got, I've just got your weight. Oh, that's this leg I've got to get him out. Right, that's it, mate. Hang on. More dog walkers, look. Yeah. Brilliant, eh? Caught another fish. Yeah. Yeah, that's None good, mate. Neither of us are blank, so that's good, isn't it? Because yeah. now you can't I'm take. Glad the... you've caught. Yeah, well, you can't take a piss now. I, will, I don't normally do anyway. Yeah, you do. I can't call you Blanca Vern today, you know. Hey, and what did we catch that on? Hey? We caught that on old shrimp. 
old shrimp from last year or maybe the year before because I don't throw anything away but that's the last of it I ain't got any more and uh, I've asked Scott if he would uh, do some shrimping for me stick him in a thing and I'll come round his and buy him off him but I ain't heard from him so if you're out there Scott yeah if you're out there anywhere get me some shrimp and I'll pay for it yeah because it's good stuff I think he, you cooked them as well anyway if you watch this Scott drop it in the comments you know you could actually go shrimping a lot and sell it to everybody couldn't you What am I doing? I've got a lot rod here that I ain't chucked out again, Keith. I need to get it chucked out, don't I? Yeah, you need to get back out. I ain't recovered over that. I don't think I could fish Immingham. Immingham? Well, I have to take two step ladders, so I'll probably, it'd be easier to get over. And the sloop ain't got any green on it, has it? So it is easy, it's well, safer. Yeah. I just thought I'd go at low water to fish, do you know what I mean? as it d does your head in. Well, I don't know if that's the first time I've caught it. I'm gonna have to look back at my videos on this mark to see, but I'll probably just zoom straight to the end because at the end I'll say, well, that was a blank or I caught this. So, you know, having to watch yourself even though I've got these for me to watch when I'm older, I do plan on watching these videos when I'm older, but I won't know who I'm looking at because I should be shitting in a nappy, slavering down the side of my face and not knowing who, who the wife is. God, that'd be great, wouldn't it? Wouldn't that be great, Keith, if you didn't know who your wife was because you had something wrong with you, like, like you're losing your memory a bit? Because every day would be like a new day, wouldn't it? You'd think, cool, who's this bit of crumpet just walked in here, wouldn't you? Wouldn't you, Keith? Uh, yeah, you wouldn't you? Yeah, yeah. Sure you, would, you would say, cool, who's that bit of crumpet? And she'd say, I'm Julie, wouldn't she? <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Mate, you've got to be more convincing than that because she's going to think that she's not crumpet to you. <laughs> now, if my wife walked in the room, I'd be well I'd be slavering at the mouth anyhow but I'd be thinking whoa crumpet 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 wouldn't I because I've got I've got a million my I, I've got a million dollar wife I have to the universe and back she is yes, she puts up the yeah universe and back <laughs> light of my life she is uh, I feel sorry. <coughs> oh dear I need joking right what we're going to do is, we're going to have this camera angle and we're going to have me chucking this out short again. We've got prawn on there with a tip of squid. That's too far. That might not be. Mate. Yeah, well, we, you ain't got long here, mate, but you see, I decided I wanted to come here and fish. Only oh, yeah, it's comfortable. Yeah, it's comfortable. And to be honest, I've been sat in the house for over Christmas that much. I didn't even want to go out to the shops. I'd started to vegetate on the sofa. So I thought to myself, I want to go and fish somewhere that I want a fish. Now, I'm not going to catch a cod here. You, you can't rule it out. You don't know. Could you get a haddock here? Well, you don't know unless you're here, do you? But I just wanted to come and be out and do a bit of fishing. Plus, I had to get a video done. Pressure on doing videos is unbelievable. But here I am. I'm now going to pour a coffee, Brett, in my midnight blue flask, which is 
couple of quid cheaper than the red one, but the red one's pretty. If you paint it blue, mate, I'm not going to be happy. Piping up coffee. I made this last week. I think the wife cleaned it out last night. It had coffee in it for a week. I had mine in the kettle like that. Forget about it. Yeah. Well, if you leave it long enough, when you drink it, because you think, Christ, I've got my soup, you think, it's coffee, you think, oh, I'm eating soup because it's got lumps in it. <laughs> anyway, what was I talking about just then? Anyhow, yeah, I just wanted to come out and do some fishing. Nothing about catching a specimen species or climbing down a cliff or showing how to tie rigs and fishing for 10 minutes. It was just a case of coming out and doing a bit of fishing at a nice tranquil place like this. And that's what we got in it, mate. That's it's what we got. Nice. And we ain't blanked. And I ain't bothered what I catch. Could be bloody Rockland for all I care, because they do feel nice, they do. I like Rockland. They feel all nice and sort of silky, don't they? They aren't slimy, are they? They're like silky, aren't they? You can see all the runners going past as well. They're bloody crackers. Here come some more dog walkers. It's like a relentless train, it is. Mine, there's a lot of dogs to walk, isn't there? Mm. Anyhow, so that's what we're doing today. We've just come out for a short session. The tide is now going out. Um, but it's been good. It's gone out quite a bit, mate, because the water had gone right up there. So we ain't got long air. I've caught, that's the main thing. Um, these rod tips are still going, look. Just gonna keep using them shrimp really and uh, see what happened. But that was a good bite on there and it was lip hooked, so it was good. You got another one? Yeah. See Keith's got another bite. Is there summer on at this time? He's using his fish sensors at the minute. Is there out on it, Keith? Well, can't you feel it? I think you've been watching too many YouTube channels where these fishermen pick the rod up to feel it. Do you know what I mean? We're only human beings. Is that braid on there? Yeah. Well, you ain't got a cod on there because you'd have been reeling it in by now, screaming. Yeah, you don't get long air. Um, it's not a huge tide either. If it was a seven metre tide, then you'd get a lot longer. But then it goes in and out quicker. We know what that's all about, don't we? Just because it's bigger, it's no good if it's going in and out a lot quicker. Is it, Keith? No, you get friction burns. No, that's right. So big isn't always best. Sometimes little is better because it's in and out for a lot longer. I'm relaxed now, I've caught. Not that I was bothered. They are geese, aren't they? They're geese. No, swans are. They ain't the bloody geese. What, white were pink? They weren't white, they were grey. Like brownie shitty colour. Well, it is nice being there. Look at that. A 
Let's see if we catch another one. It'd be nice to catch two. Um, Well, compliments to the coffee maker. At 20 past five in the morning, that would have been me. But yeah, here we are. Quite moody looking skies, but it's, it's nice. There could be a bit of sunshine. The sun's over there. And here we are. This is the car park, very bumpy. Oh dear, it's there somewhere, mate. Tell you what, that Land Rover is like your old Volkswagen. <laughs> is it? What, dirty? Yeah. Needs a good look of paint, needs to touch you up in places. There you have it. So, yeah, looking good. It is looking good. Just need another one, don't we, Keith? You always hey, need we'll another one, don't plenty you? Plenty of time, plenty of time. Yeah, well, we've got a bit of time. I'll keep watching these rod tips. It's an absolutely cracking venue. Don't get long to fish, though. We've got mud showing over there in the reed beds. Look, down there. There's mud showing down there. Mm. These are my rods. I'll show you again my rods quickly. Now, have I? I haven't rebaited that ever. Have I baited that up again? No, I haven't. I need to elasticate that on and bait, put some more bait on. So, yeah, these are the rods. Got like a cross hatch weave on it for some reason. But they're nice rods. Like I say, they come with an extra tip which is very fine um, I'll see you in a bit I'm gonna keep looking at this beautiful Vu here and then hopefully catch another fish mate them weight lifts are ever good isn't they for getting out of concrete yeah <laughs> <laughs> yes with the bite on there look. was there? Well, my rod's going up and down a bit, but I think it's wind. Oh, there's a load of birds out there, look. <laughs> they're floating down, they're going out with the tide. Yeah, well, they ought to... They're in a circle. They need to start paddling their feet a bit quick. They ought to go out into the into the uh, North Sea, do they? I don't know. You often get swans in there, you know, fishing paths, and they come up to you if you're fishing, because they, they're ever inquisitive, aren't they? Yeah, swans are, yeah. You wouldn't think they'd go in salt water, would you? But they do. Well, I'm going, I'm going carping. I've never seen a turkey in the umber though, swimming along. <laughs> it's weird, yeah. isn't it? You might find one. It's always thrown overboard. Yeah, you know I mean, that's a bit. It's a bit weird, isn't it? Well, it's the 31st of December. This will never be seen again. 2023 it'll be other and then we're 2024 and it's not many days to pancake day is it like where are we at so we've got right one two three four five six more Tuesdays and it's pancake day Make sure you got your flour, milk and bloody eggs in everybody and uh, syrup and uh, maple syrup and uh, treacle and uh, ice cream. Um, if you want to be healthy, it's a bit of fruit, but I don't bother. It's just a teaspoon of sugar, lemon juice, syrup and ice cream. And I used to eat about 10 of them when I was little, but now I can only manage three at the most. Isn't it where though, as you get older, things get less and less. Get 
Yeah, wait till you get key set. How old are you, key 67? Yeah. Hey, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, yeah. Still working as well, mate. Can't do enough for a good bird. Yeah, government love you. Yeah, but keep these foreigners from coming in. You know? oh. Now, my rod tips aren't moving. Absolutely beautiful sky. It's a nice day. It said it was going to be sunny around about nine o'clock ish. <coughs> so, uh, we're lucky, really. Got to try and catch some more cod, though, ain't there? Now, the problem with that is every time I go to me mark, or anywhere, I haven't always got yellow tails. What's the matter? I didn't like getting up this morning in the dark didn't like coming here in the dark didn't like getting set up in the dark but it was all right you know just because you don't like it don't mean it ain't all right but now I'm right chuffed being here and uh, done a little session ain't gonna last for much longer tides going out But yeah, like I say, I hope you all had a good, good Christmas and, and New Year. And uh, Santa brought what you wanted. And if he didn't, why not? But yeah, I hope you all had a good time. Unless 2024 is going to be a good year. I can't see it really. We're going to have an election, aren't we? And everything else, so it's going to go tits up, isn't it? But I'm sure we'll get plenty of fishing sessions in. Now, I don't know whether I'm going to be going down the cliffs on the Holderness Coast. I shall be fishing the Holderness Coast because I do enjoy fishing it. But I might have to fish some different marks. But I shall be going to the cliffs and I shall be trying to get down. Just hope I can get back up. But I have got family that I can phone to help me out if they bother answering the phone. If he don't answer the phone, I know what they think of me, don't I? But yeah, now, hopefully, I'll be able to get up and down. Or down and up. But there is other marks. I just have to give them a whirl, wouldn't I? But it just means you've got more people around you, haven't you? So I might have to fish this Lincolnshire beaches a bit, but... Uh, that ain't me. That ain't me. I, I like the old cliffs where I go down and... I'm on with Jack Jones. Unless I've got someone fishing with me. But yeah. Are them tips moving or is it the wind? That was a slight gust of wind then. That's all wind moving them tips. I've got one more rig baited up. That'll probably be the last cast, to be honest. Probably should have filmed a bit more. That factory, right over there in the distance, you might make it out. It's, um, yeah, it's not running. It's the first time I've not seen it running. But obviously because it's Christmas week, isn't it? And factories tend to shut down until New Year. At least all the people that work there, there's probably security there. They've probably got to work it, and they stuck there.
Mate, I'm glad I caught that flounder because it's not looking good, is it? No. This will be your short session, won't it? It would be for me. You remember when I went with Alfie, we did, we did a session with you and then we went off to... That's the way we were catching all those flounder. Yeah, then your know. longest session was the other week when you was there and Ian turned up and then someone else turned up and... You fished two tides, wasn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, Keith, what do you think to this short session? It's been brilliant so far, mate. It's all right, Nick. Glad I could. Certainly a short session I've done. It's like I live at Yarmouth again, or Galston, and I've gone down to the pier, had a couple of hours, and I'm going up. Well, it's similar to this, doesn't it? Going over in a couple of hours. Well, we're going over in a minute, I think, because oh, uh, I was going to cast out again, but I don't think there's any point. No, because there's been no. Because no I ain't going to be able to return the fish. No. I'll have to go right down there, which isn't a problem because you can walk down there. But the sun's out. It said the sun would be out as well, so it just looked good on the weather, and I I didn't want to go anywhere else. It's not a bad choice actually. I've enjoyed it. At least I've sat comfortably in the boot of my car. You've been fishing and then you'll be back home to the wife, won't you? You'll be able to snuggle up to her watching chitty chitty bang bang from the front room, won't you? <laughs> uh, or will you just go home and clean your rod? I'll go home and clean your rod. Yeah, go and clean your rod. Fishing rod. Yeah, fishing rod, yeah. Yeah, I've got to give mine a good scrub. It certainly needs it. You get all that white shitty stuff on it, don't you? Just a bit. Yeah, give it a good scrub. I put mine in a bucket with some washing up liquid. Well, washing up liquid, it's washing powder, but it's liquid fired now, isn't it? So I call it washing up liquid. But it ain't technically washing up liquid. But that gets all the white shit off it, doesn't it? Salt, you know. Cause... Well, I do. I just get a, a damp cloth, which is a, a bit of... Uh... Dear, you're a damp clother. Damp clother, mate. Well, I've got a brush and a bucket of hot water, because then I chuck all my towels in it. I just go over that way down cloth. More all runners, look. They look like they need to run as well. They're like me and you, they are. They're proper runners, fat bellies. Yeah. Not the skinny ones, mate. They're proper runners. Well, that was only that so we're out today, sorry mate, we're out today enjoying this sunny weather in front of the water, listening to the water tinkle. And they're out running, enjoying the morning. And they're out cycling, enjoying the morning. Everyone's just enjoying the morning, mate. It's unbelievable, isn't it? Yeah, it's a beautiful day, isn't it? Yeah. Really. The rods ain't gone anymore, though. I think that was it. I think I'm lucky to catch that fish. Yeah, we both. Well, at least we caught up. We've got something. That's going flying out now. Flying out, yeah. Flying out fast. Flying out. Good job I've got a bucket of water. At least you got your bucket Because then we can clean the weights. Yeah, so if I'm going to put your nose pipe on them when I get in. You clean your weights? Yeah, no, I don't. sand up because it gets in the, in the grip thing. I only, well, I only scrub my rod and clean my reel. Because that yellow the amount, Yeah, what? Sometimes it gets stuck with grit. You, yeah, yeah, put, yeah. Your, put your thing in for releasing yeah, your Yeah, I don't use them. I only use breakaway imps now, mate. Yeah. I've still got them Gemini splashdowns. I'm not saying they're all right. I like them. But you have to clean them every... On a beach, especially Lincolnshire beaches, you have to clean them every time with a fucking toothbrush. But there'll be people out there that say they're the best clips in the world and this, that and the other, and I've never had a problem. Well... These yeah, people mistake. must have a nice easy life, don't they? They never have a problem, do they? Whereas me, everything's against me. The whole bloody world, them clips, hooks, you name it, it's against... I had a hook went in my finger the other day in that session with you. That hurt for a couple of days. I pulled through though, mate. I didn't even have my mum to cry to. But yeah, no, those clips are all right. You mean that, that day you caught and I didn't? Yeah. Did I catch? Yeah, you did. You got yeah. flounders. Did you blank, did you? I blanked. All yeah. oh, right. The great Keith Cod. Well, I can't catch him every time.
No, yeah, them clips are all right, but you do have to clean them if you're on a beach. Sandy beach, isn't you? You do, yeah. Pain in the ass. I'll tell you something else. Least to get yeah, the grip. Same with the Gemini weights as well. Sand gets trapped in the bits where you clip your yeah. things in them. It's on your whip. That sun's nice. It is when you get on it, yeah. Well, I can still return a fish for going down there, so once that starts going there, I'm going to then reel in. Baits aren't getting robbed, are they? So you've still got bait on there. Looks as if there's any crabs about. Just turn up, brought the dog, and, yeah. go, and they're gone again. But you've got a constant flow, flow of people coming all day. And then at night time, you obviously get the lads and lasses, don't you? And you know why they're here. We've all done it, haven't we? Oh, yeah. Hey, bit of cat and bird's eye. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. So I don't like being there at night time. I get jealous. <laughs> <laughs> No, I only use breakaway imps now. I've got breakaway imps. You know. Once my <laughs> splashdowns go, that'll be it. But I do like the. Uh, like the real edge with the clip, but you know, just got, you just got to make sure you keep them clean after the yeah. cast. You drag it on the sand. They're a good design. Way. They're good. Well, you got to drag it on the sand, don't you? But they get dragged on the sand out there, don't it? But yeah, it don't just, take a lot. I just drop them in my water. I think, because they usually that full of water, big bucket thing. Just washes the sand up. And I had that rant and rage about bloody um, bait release clips that everyone say are fantastic. I had no end of comments coming to me about clips being, oh, I've had hassle with them, blah, blah, blah. And then there was a couple of videos come up on YouTube where they were mooning about certain clips. Yeah. And I thought, yeah. well, there you go, they aren't, that ain't just me, is it? Or not. That'll be on there when you reel it in, won't it? Yeah, it will be. Except for the ones about the. Uh, German air with me. I, only thing, good thing about a circle is you don't seem to lose fish off them. Well, well, you, you can't get a bloody hook out either. <laughs> usually lip them. They usually get lip hooks like cod and, and whiting and that. For them to circle hooks. So, so, man, you. Can't say that because I've had some deep, uh, deep, deep whiting with the uh, circles. You just take the old one really. Sometimes I think the fish swallow it down, especially flounder, because the bait's too big on the hook, and they just golf it down. Yeah, I'm to agree with me on that one. I uh, had a small prawn shrimp on there with a tiny bit of squid, and it was lip up perfect. And it's probably it, it hit the hook. The hook got touched its mouth and it turned and bang, it was caught, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, they need a boot to come in there to dredge this to make it deeper, that'd be good. <laughs> Look at the good pass that, that, that would deep water. Well, it's a short session, mate, but in all fairness, probably too short for me. But it's been enjoyable. This is what I wanted yeah, to do today. Yeah. I wanted to come here. At least I've caught it. I can't remember if I've caught in the other two videos. So I will check, but... See the speed they're going down. You can see the flow of them birds. Yeah. Like, the settles up there. And the yeah. Slowly going past there. That time I fished underneath that bridge. That was treacherous, that was. I couldn't do that now with my hip. Oh, is it that bad? Oh, mate. And you ever watched that video? I've seen that one. Well, go find that, that one. That must be a couple of years back then. That'll be probably, lot, yeah, probably two years. I got the gear to fish it again because when I fished it, I realised what I needed, so I got a, 
a waste bag and stuff so I could have all my gear in it, a rod and a sand spike and I got everything to do it and I never went back again because you have to pick a low, low water tide so oh, that you can get, watermark. yeah, no, so you can get on the beat on the sand spit because the sand spit's like quicksand Ooh. and if, uh, what happens is you can get on it but you start sinking and the water just comes all around you and you start going under so you have to walk away and then you've got literally about three quarters of an hour before the tide turn and then when that tide turns it comes in and it comes in that quick you're going back and the missus phoned me up and she says the water is coming in and I said yeah yeah I've got time anyhow I moved back put my skier down chucked out put my rod on the rod rest and the water was up to my rod rest and I then had to pick it up leave the sand and walk onto the shingly beach bit which then you're safe you could slip over but you're safe but yeah, it was an experience. I enjoyed it. I'll probably do it again when my hip's done. I hope you get these shit soon, mate. Yeah, I'll get done. I'm filming up this week. Mind you, I keep saying that, don't I? But I will be filming up this week. Yeah, you got to get it done. Anyhow, yeah, you enjoyed it, mate. It's not very long. No, I've enjoyed it. You're going to get them and your missus is going to say, Is that it? Catch you with a dog, mate. Oh, that's my phone. That'll be the wife. Yeah, it is. Are you alright? Yeah. I've caught a flounder. Yeah. You've been up long? Alright, oh, I thought you'd have been in bed asleep. Waiting for me to come back. To surprise you, waking you up. Alright, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, not for long, I've got two and a half metres of mud in front of me. So, uh, yeah, if I've got a fish and I've got to walk probably 30, 40 yards to the right so I can return it, but it's not a problem, but I'm going to be reeling in in a minute. The last rig that I just tied up that's hanging there, it ain't going to get to go out. It's only a short short session. It's not a huge tide, is it? And uh, it's a lot more silted up than it was last time I was there, but just key for me. Alright, Pat, I'm gonna have to reel these in, alright? I'll speak to you later. Bye. That'd be the wife. God, now we've got a, got a gaggle of women coming now. Can you hear them? Hey? Yeah, you More runners. Gosh. Make more row than us, isn't they? <laughs> They're probably about 250 yards away, isn't they? <laughs> See, everyone's out today having fun, isn't they? Enjoying themselves. No, not really. Just a little bit of wind, though, just get that breeze. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? We ain't getting too hot, are we? Right, let's get these reeled in, shall we? We'll reel this one in first. Where are we at? Uh, battery's all right, that's all right. Right, let's get this reeled in. Reel this one in first. And it's up, up in the water line. What have we got, what have we got, what have we got? We ain't got nothing, nothing. We've got a muddy weight, mate. Get this weed off. Right. Well, there's nothing on that one. Tuck him down. I ain't chucking that again. Are you chucking that again? No, no. These are things you can touch. These are the quick bites. I'll tell you what, mate. When we've uh, fished and packed up, yeah, we'll take a little walk around that corner yeah. so you can have a look at it. Not even be touched. Look at that. You what? Not even be touched. 
I think we caught, I mean, mate, we caught a flounder. Any fish is a good fish, isn't it? I've actually enjoyed this session and that's what it's about. Fishing session isn't all about going out and catching. We have caught, we have caught, let's don't get me wrong, we have caught, but it's not all about that. That bloody bit of metal in the floor, I keep tripping, I tripped over it all last time I was here. But fishing sessions isn't all about catching this, catching that. I couldn't give a, give a monkey, sometimes I had something nibble on this, but it could have broke off because they are a bit soft. But um it's about going out and enjoying it. And look at this sun on my face. Showing off my chiseled looks. Hey. Ow! But yeah, that's what it's about, isn't it? It's about coming out. We ain't been out long. I didn't want to be out too long, really. Um, I haven't fished an early morning tide for a long time. So that was a new experience again. Not saying that it's a, a bad experience, because it ain't, but you know, it is what it is, isn't it? There I go again. I haven't said it too many times, however. So, What I'm going to also, just because it ain't going to end there with this fishing session. For me, when I actually get home and get settled down in the front room with something to eat, um, I've still got the rest of the day to enjoy, haven't I? So I've been out fishing and I can go home. And enjoy the rest of the day, can't I? So, I've enjoyed using these rods as well. It's been a long time since I used these. I think Tom used them last, but yeah, good rods, good for the uh, for the money I paid. I was talking to Keith. I think it was about ninety quid I paid in the end for them. I'm sure uh, Pondrista, Pondestra bought loads of them. Well, he bought all UK stock, is what they told me anyhow. Um, and then sold them off cheaper because they probably paid 40 quid for them let's be honest and um yeah beautiful reel can't get that now but you can get the newer model which will probably be even better but i think better is cheaper so i bought the old ones because I've got all of them reels. So, uh, yeah. Where's the rod bag? Yeah, so this is the uh, spare tip. This is the spare tip. So it's like an estuary type rod fine bites 
Um, uh, so a bright little tiny thin thing. Uh, loads of strength in this, loads of poke, but it's just got this glass bit here, which obviously is uh, very fine for bites. But um, yeah, can't buy these now. The only way you'll get one of these is if you've got a mate that's got one or um, you see it on eBay. But at the time, you couldn't go wrong. You've got so much rod for your money. Um, if you like the continental type style, these are 4.8 meters, I think. I guess they're 4.8 meters. Yeah, 4. 4.8 meter. I mean, that's long, isn't it? Every time I get it out, I gasp. Don't you, Keith? If you had a rod 4.8 meters, every time you got it out, would you gasp? Yeah, would I? Yeah, I do every time I get this out. I've got another rod with Shakespeare. I've got a blue metal, Shakespeare blue metal. That's five meters long. But that is very whippy. That is a uh, quite a flexible soft rod, but again, I won't get rid of that because it's uh, Shakespeare. You can't get them anymore, can you? You won't get the money that you'd want for it. Not that it's worth anything massive, majorly, is it? But anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, just sort of back the van out. I shall come back. We'll reel that last one in, sort the rigs out. We'll say sayonara. Um, yeah, this water's going out. Yeah, I might reel the next rod in now because if I've got a fish on it, yeah, if I've got a fish on it, um, I will need to walk down that way to return it. So I'm gonna put you here. Where's that? Brilliant. Right. I am retrieving the rod off the tripod. I've picked it up. I have started to walk to the side. You can see me now. I'm hoping I haven't got a fish on because it's got a lot of mud to come over. Now, I don't think I have. No. So it's a one fish pony today. Get it at the concrete, reel up the slack, and then just pick it up. And it don't snag up. There's plenty of runners about. Must be men. You got anything on there, Keith? Yeah. Are you snagged up again? Where is it, Keith? Where are we looking? Uh, I get that. Where is it? To the side of that, in the hole. Well, that orange thing? No, are you in that hole again? No, it's a line that's gone in. With it brain, it's so soft. Are you alright going over there or do you want the paraplegic to go over for you? <laughs> I don't need to, I should be able to get the line out. I mean, this way of it. Right, okay. So just... What's your rod tip on them cars? Yeah. Just the brake got wrapped around that bit of concrete. Right, watch them cars, mate. Yeah, keep it out of the sea. Well, of the wall. Enjoyed today. Yeah, short, really very good. short. I'm sorry about that, but it's been good. Bigger tide, mate. You could come back here, couldn't you? It's not a bad mark, is it? I just don't. It's good for, I bet it'd be good on a seven meter tide. Yeah, 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 yeah. What are you fishing for? Well, we've got a couple of flounder. That's it. Yeah. Didn't expect much more, really, because it's a bit far up. Yeah, tide's going out, is it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's going out rapid now. It's only a small one today. What can you catch up here, though? Uh, well. Flounder, eel, sole. Yeah. You would think you'd get some whiting, but we ain't even had any whiting, so. Right. Not a bad day though, is it? Nah, it's nice to be out, innit? Yeah. Good day to be alive. Yeah, right. right then, Keith. You're going to say see you later to your 
to the subscri- see you later, guys. to the subscribers of Earn Sea Fishing. You know they want to see that happy jolly face, mate. Yeah, don't forget, like and subscribe. Yeah, like and subscribe. What to me? For this channel, mate. Yeah, this right. Channel. This channel, eh? This channel, eh? Uh, about that then. Vern Sea Fishing. Yeah, Vern Sea Fishing. Isn't that right, mate? Spot hey, on, my mate. Give Spot it, on. give it some love. <laughs> right, so that's it. I've reeled in. Nothing on the last one. Keith's had a flounder. I've had a flounder. I think mine was bigger, wasn't it? I don't know. You bring your mind. <laughs> oh well, then I win by default. <laughs> now, so that's fifty quid to me. I ain't found out. Update on the speeding ticket. I ain't had anything come through the door yet, so I think I might be all right. But there's plenty of time yet to get a ticket. I reckon it might be next week or the week after. But if it is, Keith has said that he'll pay for it for me because it was his fault. That's right, isn't it? Yeah, you go. See, he's going to do an extra shift at work to pay for it. Andy said he was going to do my speed awareness course, didn't you? Nah, it should be all right. Anyhow, I hope you have enjoyed this. It has been, I've enjoyed it. Like I say, it's, fishing is not always about um, getting the specimen fish and doing this, that and the other. It's just about coming out and enjoying yourself. And today, that has happened. I've come out, I've enjoyed myself. It's been good company with Keith. And uh, there he is there, he is my bucket, look. And uh, I've got my weight in there, careful. <clears throat> and, uh, yeah, I'm trying to do this technical bit of shutting my video down. Go on, slide off. Anyhow, this has been it, and we've enjoyed. You enjoyed yourself? Definitely. Yeah, I've enjoyed myself, and uh, that's what it's all about. Get yourself out, even if it's for two, three, four hours. Oh God, I'm sounding like others now, isn't it? Anyhow, just get yourself out there and fish, and or run, or you know, yeah, cycle. Well, whatever you want to do, do. Go for a walk. <coughs> But this has been Van Sea Fishing at the River Umber, near the Humber Bridge, in the car park, that you don't want to fish at night time. Unless you, well, yeah. And anyhow, so that's been it. I've had a flounder. We've used prawn, many other baits, and I'm going. Next time you see me, we'll probably be on this river because of my hip. So, thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe, drop us a comment, you never know, we might get to 5,000 by February or March. If we make 5,000 subscribers by March, then that's took me 12 months to get 400 subscribers. That ain't bad for a channel, is it? I don't know how these other ones do so well. Thousands and thousands every year. Better than me. Anyhow, that's enough of that. On this sunny day, I am going. See you and on. Just about coming out today, that has happened. I've come out. Bleep that because uh, Numpty Nuts there just said something. So bleep that. <laughs>